Sorry for the darkness. Uh, I've got a new dog laying on my lap, and she likes it dark so she can sleep. But today the topic seems to be alternatives to a supernatural resurrection. Well, I remember seeing a documentary about this where they used forensic techniques to see stuff about the true Jesus. They showed a couple things. You know, he wasn't white. He wouldn't have had long straight hair or a beard like that. Um, he wouldn't have been slender or had a long face. No, he was Jewish. I mean, just face it, people. He's born in the Middle East. He wasn't white. Which I don't think most people will buy that anymore if they actually think about it. But one of the great uh, hypotheses that they put forward was a neurotoxin being used to simulate Jesus' death on the cross. Um, their way of applying it would have been a sponge that was used to uh, wipe off the sweat or blood or whatever it was that was accumulating on his forehead. But as the sponge was dipped in the in this uh, neurotoxin made from crushing up plant roots and all that, every they um, set a specific one that I'd like to find, but um, kind of hard. <coughs> Where after giving him the neurotoxin, just stayed there for a while, not feeling the pain until he, well, until he uh, died. And then a couple day days later when they come back and pick up his body, well, he'll be, he'll be okay. Well, not okay. I mean, dehydration, uh, starvation, all that stuff. But living in the desert, I'm sure they're used to some, somewhat. So, well, that was their hypotheses, and I hope you find that helpful. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce your name, uh, Nonj, TJ, or something like that.